Hello guys and welcome back. So today is a great day because the public beta of Mac OS High Sierra is finally hit. So iOS 11 came out about I think a couple of days ago or last week and I've been waiting for this new one as well for my Mac. So everyone's getting hyped about iOS 11 but obviously the Mac side of things is also getting very interesting as well. Um, historically if you're a developer obviously you get it when it's announced from Apple but for everybody else you have to wait until Apple releases the public now the great thing is they do let the public have a you know a bit of a try before it is released a general release which will be about September time um, to get it it's great what you need to do is go to uh, beta.apple.com uh, sign up uh, obviously go on Mac OS and you need to download this program basically it gives you the feedback utility now guys the whole purpose of this is for you to try it before the public and if you find any issues just just let them know just let you go here create new feedback and just log it with the engineering team so they can get it all patched ready for when it gets you know finally released so it's a great way to you get to give back to the apple community uh, obviously this is going to be free for everybody which is great you know it's not going to be like you have to pay to upgrade everybody gets this for free so you know if you want to do your bit this is how you make mac os even better Basically, you download that, you get to install that program, and then it will basically allow you onto the beta program. Now, to get it, you would basically then just go up to updates, and then you would see the beta there. Now, I think because it's just been released here in the UK, uh, the servers are getting somewhat a bit battered, and it's taking a little bit of time for it to appear. So you can do it manually. There is a little link there, which will basically take you to the hidden page on the Mac App Store. And you can then go ahead and install it that way. Start downloading that. Um, it's 4.90 GB, which is fine. Shouldn't take too long. And then you can go ahead and install it. There's a, lots and lots of great features. A lot of it is under the hood. Um, but if you want to read more about that, you can. Simply go back onto the guide. Click on here. And you can learn all about Mac OS High Series features. But the main one for me is great i think that the fact mac recognized that ssd is here to stay and is the future and they've written the entire operating system in a brand new file system called apple file system which is optimized for solid state drive so i think that's a great move makes sense as apple's devices are pretty much all ssd now so i think that's great uh, and the speed benefits are fantastic i watch some if you watch the wwc preview you get to see basically Tim duplicates some files uh, and doing it on uh, HSPA which is the current OS X generally kind of the standard at Mac at the moment took some time and then the APFS which is the Apple file system took you know it was instant so they really have done a great job so guys unfortunately I won't be able to screen record the installation as it happens in the back end of the system but guys go ahead and get it it's going to be nice and stable because the developers have time to have a look at it and feedback where obviously there is always that risk with beta software, there will be some glitches, so it is recommended to do a time machine backup, so if you then decided you wanted to revert back, that's no problem. But guys, my recommendation is get a hold of it now, have a play, and give back to the Apple community. Ciao.